What's going on to our good friend, the Hebrew hammer, hammer, Yuck Shamash. Hey, Yuck Shamash. Hey, Mark, don't you have to throw P. Diddy in the mix there, too? No, I, I think he's uh, done more harm than either, for sure. Hey, the Pirates this weekend, uh, over the past three days, I cannot remember um, the pitchers pitching so well than they've done over the, the past three three days. I mean, I, honestly, I can't ever remember. Once once in a while you'd get that kind of, you, you know, two starts in a row by Garrett Cole and A.J. Burnett. But it was different. Garrett Cole would overwhelm people, but not to the level of Skeens. I'm telling you right now. Skeens is better now than Cole was then. And Burnett was more of a battler. Jared Jones is smoother. Yeah, I was super impressed. I'm not easily excited when it comes to the Pirates, but I, I am pretty excited uh, going forward. Now, I was listening to uh, two of the games in the car this weekend here and there. All they talk about, Joe Block, he does a good job. I like his voice, you know, everything. Uh, all they talk, and Kevin Young does a fair job too, all they talk about is pitch count. That's it. <laughs> well, it's too important. Well, you know what's amazing? I think this was like um, maybe 40 years ago or maybe longer. Nolan Ryan, and I'm not saying this would ever happen again. Nolan Ryan, when he pitched for the Angels, had a game where he pitched 13 innings and he pitched 213 pitches. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen again. These guys would never even throw 130 pitches anymore. Well, uh, Harvey Haddix once pitched the 12 inning perfect game, lost in the 13th. I, I bet nobody was concerned about his pitch count. And I, I well, agree with Blast and Walk that if you let these guys pitch more innings from a younger age on, they would develop arm strength and could do it well into their major league careers without uh, serious elbow problems. And we know that's true because now they pitch less. And have more arm problems. Well, you know, in Harvey Haddix's day, they, they probably didn't even actually count the pitches. That's how a little concerned. They probably had nobody tallying how many pitches he threw. But here's the thing about the pitch count. Uh, I, I may have heard this this weekend, but a uh, tie on when he pitched for the Pirates, they were they were concerned about the pitch count, and that didn't prevent his arm from getting hurt. So I just think it's a lot of baloney. I think it's a lot of over analytics. Just like everything is today, and I don't think there's really any uh, an end game. I, I agree, it's and it's taken all the romance out of being a star starting pitcher outside of, of strikeouts, and and even those are X amount of strikeouts in X amount of innings. It's kind of a, a fractional thing. Uh, well, on top of it, guys like Skeens, because they've been brought up so much in this era of pitch count, like they don't, e they're not even mad when they're taken out. It's just how they are. It's it's just how the game has changed, and uh, everybody. I mean, the, the players are completely okay with it. I mean, it's just the way it is. It's the du jour. Did you know what Harvey Haddix's nickname was? Haddix Maddox. No, no, the kitten, which would get you suspended in uh, the Ontario Hockey League. That's my cue. Meow. Yuck, shamash. Mark Madden, man, he's the life of show.